Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna see the new Redshift Particles. Alright guys, so Redshift has been in very very active development and new things has been uh, are been coming up and uh, the one thing that I'm being excited about right now is the new particle stuff and before you ask me, this is what I'm using, I'm using version of Redshift, let me see, 2.521, uh, I should be using 22 I guess, and I'm using 2 GPUs. 1070 and 970 all right so you need to have the experimental version of this I should be using 22 but it's okay for now you can see there's the uh, the one that maybe the stable one it's uh, 2.2.0 94 uh, I'm not using that one and that the new particles are not available on that one you need to go and get the experimental version here and this is the one that's going to give you the new uh, setup for particles, and which is really cool, and it takes no effort to render your particles anymore. So I have just one frame here for my uh, castle uh, sand destruction uh, video. If you haven't seen that, uh, go see it. It's really cool. So this is made of a bunch of particles, and it's uh, 38 million particles, almost 39 million particles there. So it's uh, a lot of particles you can see there's the particles count again so we're gonna render this and we're gonna see how we can render this really quickly in redshift we don't want to see this just leave the uh, re the renderers flag on that one i'm gonna go back i have nothing specific here nothing special just have uh, this uh, backdrop for uh, rendering the particles there and a camera that's all i have right now so now if I go and create my Redshift node there, you see I created there, I can start render this really right away. Uh, so I run, I want to force this to render because I don't want to display it here so I, I'm not loading everything, all those particles here. It's going to uh, disable that uh, there. Go to objects, delete this thing, and I'm just going to select what I want to render and what I want to force to render the backdrop and the castle. So this is going to render uh, the geometry even if it's not displayed here. So alright, just that is going to be okay for this. Alright, so the thing we're going to do for this castle node here is add the object parameters and for that you need to have your redshift uh, shelf loaded here. If you don't have it, just go here and select redshift there. You can add the object parameters from here again or just uh, type here in the viewport of the parameters and it adds this tab here over there now we need to go to the particle section which is the new section and just enable this as particles and that's all we need to do before we need to add it an instance and uh, an object to instance the particles and, and, and render those instances and stuff and it was really uh, a, a, a bit more difficult and it was um, a bit more uh, slow so because you were rendering actual geometry now you are just rendering with the particle primitive which is pretty cool you can have a global scale multiplier here for uh, your attributes if you want to make the particles uh, scale uh, multiply the scale or set your own scale here in my case here I already have a p scale parameter which is going to be used for uh, the scale of the particle which I don't need to do in, uh, any of this if I want my particles bigger or smaller I'm multiplying by the p scale I can use this one so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna trigger render I think I'm gonna accelerate this a little bit just so you don't guys have to wait for the whole thing because it takes a little bit to catch the particles so actually before I do that I need a light right I don't have any light so I'm just gonna place a simple dome light here in the center of the scene there it is uh, and I'm gonna use that to light the scene because if we just render it like that we're gonna see nothing Okay, so let's now trigger the render, and I'm gonna make it uh, ha half the size, don't need the full rest right now. Alright, so there we go, you can see the particles now I render here, and it took about a minute and 7 seconds, I think uh, it took a minute to, to pass the particles to redshift and, and 
maybe the other seven seconds for the render itself. Uh, you can see it's really looking really nice. The prickles are here exactly using the P scale that we have in the uh, uh, scene already and all the stuff looks pretty cool. Now we can what we can do now. Let me just minimize that. What we can do now is just grab a material because right now it doesn't have a material. And now in in 2.5 of Redshift we can actually use the material context. We don't need to use the shop context. So let's create an uh, RS material here. Just make sure you activate this as a material. I think it it should be activated if. Uh, in a new build it will just be activated by default but right now it's not so now we create a material and we can apply this already to the uh, particles but we also want the color of the particles so let's uh, use uh, color uh, color user data to get the color from the particles type cd here capital c and uh, lowercase z plug that into the diffuse color and now we're gonna get the particles uh, color from that because the particles do have color. You can see if we go here, there is a color attribute on them. So let's apply the material. And don't forget to apply the material. There we go, material one. And now we just need to check that the parameter is being passed. Let's go to the um, settings uh, attributes and type the CD here so we make sure that the particle color is being passed and now we can render this again alright so there we go you can see now the particles have the color that they had uh, originally in my other tutorial and they are rendered with redshift and it's pretty fast the uh, actual render time is actually lower now and even, even this frame it's uh, 1080p or uh, full 1080p so it's one minute and most of that stuff uh, takes uh, most of the time it's just uh, converting the particles uh, passing the particles to Redshift uh, because remember there's this like 39 million particle of fish uh, rendering 39 million particles in one minute it's it's <laughs> it's huge and uh, uh, even the floor is even reflecting stuff uh, so there you go, you can see how easy it is today to render particles with Redshift. Uh, so again, guys, go and get the 2.5 version of Redshift so you can take advantage of all these new updates on the uh, on development. Uh, I want to thank Redshift uh, for supporting us at Mix Training. Uh, without them, this video will not be possible. If you feel like Mixed Rainy has helped you and you want to help us, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Alright guys, let's keep learning together. This is Better Mix and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!